remove the engine cover, remove the air dam hose to the throttle body. And that's a flathead screwdriver or an eight millimeter socket. Loosen that clamp up. We're gonna end up removing the top of the air box cover, so I'm gonna take the air temp sensor connector off. Let's squeeze that tab and lift up. Take the bent hose off the valve cover. And now with a pair of pliers, I'm gonna remove that vent hose just so we can get it out of the way. Then you're gonna grab your air box cover and there's two tabs. This one's broken, but it would look just like this one. Push down a little bit, pull it out, lift it up. Now the hose down here on the throttle body will come right off. Cam sensor is located right here in the top part of the head. We're gonna disconnect that connector. Push in on the tab right in here and lift up. And then the mounting bolt is a 10 millimeter socket right there. You might need a magnet to pull that out. Now with two fingers, I'm just gonna wobble this cam sensor back and forth. I might take an actual screwdriver to help me just to get in there between the head. Pop it. Now to install, we're gonna reverse the procedure. I'm gonna go up to the top here. Make sure I seat the seal. Give it a push. The magnet, I'm gonna start that bolt. You might have to tilt that sensor back and forth to you hit the center hole. Always start it by hand. And then we're going to torque this to the manufacturer's spec. Torque spec is 79.5 inch pounds. Now we're going to reconnect the connector. So you hear it click. Now we're going to reinstall our air box cover. I'm going to bring that throttle body air take hose, bring it down there, make sure it goes on the throttle body. This cover has goes down into these notches, just like that, and then it will click down. Put the vent hose back to the valve cover. Make sure it's seated all the way in. Try to line the clamp right back where it was. You'll see the dirt. And reconnect our air temp sensor. Now we just have to tighten the clamp on the throttle body. Make sure that's nice and tight. You don't want any vacuum leaks. Now we can replace our engine cover. You'll see the two rubber cut caps back there go on those Make sure your dipstick tube goes through the slot and then push down. 